Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our next uh, pre-lab video. Now, for all you folks in uh, fall 2020, this is a new one this semester, so everything is actually, uh, just for once, relative to our semester, okay? So this is going to be uh, due on Friday, October 2nd, okay, 2020. All right, now, of course, if you're watching this in the future, that's not true, <laughs> but, you know, see the description. Okay, so obviously, um, the experiment is copper and silver nitrate reaction. Okay, now before you even start to read this, okay, I'm going to go through a few, uh, through a few things you need to do. Okay, so I'll give you a bit of a checklist. All right, so the checklist, if we take a peek, number one, look at the last two video lectures. It says actually in the instructions to kind of do that in the textbook, but hey, my video lectures, textbook, doesn't matter. The material in the last two video lectures I'd recommend taking a look at, okay? So that's things like balancing equations, quantitative stoichiometry, limiting, re limiting reactant, percent yield, things like that, okay? All right, now, <clears throat> this is good practice for your midterm that's coming up, okay? At this point, you need to be able to do subscripts, superscripts, and insert symbols like to go to, arrows, etc. in Word. It's very, very simple to do. You just have to look online. Maybe I'll put a link to a YouTube video. Okay, there's loads of videos out there that it's really easy to do subscripts and superscripts. And also, powers of 10, scientific notation. You can't be doing star 10 hat stuff anymore. You've got to put the correct scientific notation. And people are getting easy points lost by not using correct notation okay so it's a fillable form type it in in word the usual thing you should be able to write balanced equations now using word you should be able to do powers of 10 numbers now and quantities using word okay so practice that if you need to because you'll certainly need it for the midterm okay yes i'm still going to let you cut and paste little pictures into the document if you want to do that of your work okay but it's quicker and more professional to do actual superscript subscripts actually very simply in Word. Okay. Office hours. Now, <laughs> lots of folks are getting to this <laughs> on Friday night, right? So I get these things with kind of like, you know, very flustered people asking me questions like 10.30 Friday night. No, 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 look at this early, okay? Look at this Tuesday or Wednesday. And if you've got questions, you can ask me at the office hour on Thursday, okay? So plan ahead. If you've got a question about lab, I'm happy to answer any questions you have, any questions you have about lab or lecture on Thursday morning at 9. So if you want to, you know, that extra help, make sure you take advantage of that. Okay, that's on Teams, of course. Last thing, as I mentioned a couple of times in other pre-lab videos, we're through week six now. So if you want a copy of your lab grades, feel free to ask me. Okay, I'll send you your little kind of line out of my... Uh, Great book, but as I've mentioned before, as long as you keep handing labs in, it's always a good thing. It's always going to increase your grade, okay, because I grade against the best score from the students, not some theoretical maximum, okay. So the, the take home message is as long as you hand in a reasonable lab every week, your lab will actually help. So that's a good thing, okay. But if you do want to know your numbers, just drop me an email and I'll send you them, okay. So let's get into it. So What we're going to do, I'll read through it with you a little bit, okay, give you a few little pointers here and there, but mostly this is stuff you should be able to do for, you know, like practicing the skills you got from the videos, okay, and the homework, all right? So, as it mentioned, it asks you to kind of review stoichiometric relationships, balancing, limiting reactant, theoretical yield, percent yield, excess reactant, limiting reactant, that stuff we talked about in the last couple of packets, okay, so make sure you watch that first, all right? Then go over to the you know, group 101 lab site, okay? Read the introductory kind of letter there, I guess you call it, okay, introductory page. And then, you know, get over and uh, print this. Oh, actually, you don't need to print it. Just make a copy of this, download this, and you're gonna edit it directly because it's a fileable or fillable form, okay? All right, so you download this assignment, just like this one here, but keep it electronically, right? You're gonna work on it in Word, all right? Then you go over to Pivot, okay, and there is a section which is different, okay, so your data, and which we'll get to in a moment, your data is going to be different for p different people based on your birthday, okay, so make sure you get the appropriate data set based on your birthday. So you look at trial one if you've got an early birthday, trial four if you've got a later birthday and stuff in between, okay. So, you know, just based on when your birthday falls, the actual experimental data you'll fill in within this form comes from there, okay. 
Make sure you observe these things in the experiment now. If I remember, I'll put a picture up, but this is kind of an interesting experiment. We could do it in practice. You basically get a, a copper wire and you drop it into a, a test tube with some silver nitrate solution and it kind of develops this kind of really interesting kind of fuzzy coat, which is just precipitated um, silver, which is nice, okay? And we'll see that in a balanced equation in a second, all right? So watch how that works, okay, on the video, okay? And then, you know, you've got to answer these questions, okay? So, obviously it's a reaction, so you're going to weigh reactants some products and things like that, get the information you need to do a, a quantitative stoichiometric workup, okay? And I'll talk you through a few of the points, right? Okay, so first things first, it's kind of a gimme, right? <laughs> so we're going to write a balanced chemical equation. Now, I'll give you this one, all right? And I'm going to kind of insist that you do this in Word, practicing subscripts, right? So, balanced equation for the reaction, right? So, it's copper... Cu, solid, so that's just a solid piece of copper, right? That's subscripted also, so the little s is also subscripted, all right? Plus silver nitrate solution, plus one. Now you can write it like that, you're kind of a bit more, you know, advanced now, right? So we kind of drop the brackets for one iron, right? Okay, so we understand that's the nitrate iron minus one iron. Plus one minus one, that's silver nitrate. Fair enough, right? So copper plus silver nitrate, it turns into copper two nitrate. Copper two means copper plus two, right? So that's CuNO3 twice, and all nitrates, I hope you got from the last packet of aqueous, right? Plus Ag solid. Now that's not balanced, that's the, you know, words to formulas version, right? So vertical, right? Copper reacts with silver nitrate to make copper two nitrate solution and silver metal. That's the fuzz on the on the copper, right? Okay. Now, one copper, one copper, one silver, one silver. Oh, two nitrates, right? So I need a two here. Single passenger in the vehicle, I need two vehicles. Two passengers in the vehicle, I need one vehicle. That's got me two silvers. Okay, there you go, and that's one. So, you know, there's your first give me, right? Try and type that out in Word using the superscript subscript. Okay, now, <laughs> answer these questions, right? So, what limiting, what is the limiting reactant? So, you've got to figure out, hey, the ratio is what's important, right? This has to be twice as much or more than this to be excess, right? So, it's got to be one to two in ratio to be perfect. If there's more than twice as much of this, it's excess. If there's less than twice of this, it's limiting. Okay, remember how that works. Okay, and you can do it through observation. You work out the moles, check the ratio. So check the video for that. And they talk about the math, all right? I'm not gonna work through <laughs> the problems with you, right? Just give you hints, okay? So, you know, you set this up as a, a nice, um, oh, set this up as a nice slides and ladders, right? Okay. Nice way to do that in Word is to do a table, right? So, you know, turn this into a table and you can just fill in the spaces fair enough, right? Okay. Now, hopefully you can do this one, okay? The piece of copper from the wire weighed this. The remaining copper weighed this, so you know how much was actually reacted, okay? Show calculations, all right. That many grams of metal was produced, determined percent yield. All right, fair enough. All right, so those are questions, hopefully warm you up, it's a pre-lab, okay? This information here, you get from your assigned birthday data set from Pivot, okay? And then, you know, once you've got that data, you can just work it through. So very similar to the pre-lab, but I should go back to my, oh, I forgot, right? I should go back to my, uh, checklist okay and some of you still aren't doing it despite prodding <laughs> okay show all work it doesn't just apply to exams right whenever you do some work in science you got to show how you got from A to B right you got to show the entire workup and as you know when I grade things 
I mostly grade the work. It might be one point out of five for the answer and four points for work or something. So, so some of you got to feel kind of like lower lab grades because you're just tapping in the answer. Fantastic, you've got one out of five. Okay, so be careful there, right? So you must show all work, okay? As I mentioned, you should be doing this now typing it in quite comfortably in Word using subscripts, superscripts, and symbols for arrows, etc. Okay, but if you still need to cut and paste the picture from your notes, do it, okay? As long as the work appears in the space in the document, I don't care how it gets there, okay? It's obviously a lot more work to take a photograph, copy, paste, resize it, etc., than it is to actually type it and just very simply, you know, highlight letters and just subscript them, right? Or numbers rather. Okay, so be careful there. Okay. All right. So, you know, excess reagent, theoretical yield, slides and ladders, right? Okay. Percent yield, compare, you know, the two, make a percentage. Careful, remember, when you do a percentage, it's the, the fraction times 100% equals an answer, right? Don't press equals halfway through. <laughs> okay, careful. Yeah. All right. Are well, we familiar with this now? We're familiar with percent error after doing the last experiment. Okay. And, you know, it's pretty much... Just practice for questions from there on, okay? So we get practice writing complete balance equations and things like that, limiting reactants. So work through this. There's a couple of questions. Now, this last couple here, you know, again, there are lots of examples in those last two video lectures, okay, that I've put up. So again, look at those first, all right? Okay, and don't forget, if you want to talk to me, Thursdays, 9 a.m. on Teams, try and get through this, you know, before the end of Wednesday, if you can, and you've got questions. I don't want to see the 10.30 kind of panicky email, is this right? <laughs> All right, we can't have a conversation at 10.30 at night on Friday when it's due in an hour and a half, okay? So try and get ahead of it. Try and get it. be proactive rather than reactive. That's a good way to think about it. All right, so let's check the rest of it. Yes, yeah, another question similar. Okay, so you've got a couple of kind of practice workup questions at the end there. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Here's our checklist just to finish up again, just to remind you, okay. So look at those last two video lectures, okay. Be sure to fill out the form, okay. So you download the fillable form, fill it out, save it as a document, okay. And then as usual, email me, it'll be in the description, okay. Make sure you're using, using subscripts for formulas, superscripts for scientific notation, etc. okay. Try and get this done before Wednesday so you can come to an office hour if you've got questions. Get ahead of this, right? And don't forget, we've got a midterm coming up. So if you kind of get this stuff taken care of, midterm will be easy, okay? More time for practice. And as I mentioned, grades are available. We're three week six now, so if you want to know where you are in lab, feel free to let me, well, let me know. Send me an email. But as, as I mentioned, you know, as long as you're handing them in, you're doing fine, okay? Generally speaking, okay? And the last one, the one I forgot, you must show all work, all right? Doesn't matter if it's a lecture, a lab, doesn't matter. Show all work because that's where most of the points are. Okay, stop there. I'll see you guys on the next one.